Hello everybody, in today's video we are doing a little repair in the shed. Um, so I briefly mentioned when we were cleaning out the shed that we had to repair a, a water tank issue to sort out. Um, so what we're doing, we are laying a new concrete base. So we're laying a new concrete base for the tank to sit on. Um, this shed kind of divides itself into three units, three sections. Um, and the first two sections had concrete beds for the tanks early on. This end never got done. Um, so what we're doing today, we have set up our shutter in. And we're going to fill up a bed here. And we're also, in the centre section, going to redo that section there. So this is our concrete mixer, uh, pan mixer on the back of the tractor. That's what we do. Gravel goes in the top. Um, we put that in with the Matbro bucket because the Gabota bucket is too wide. So we've got the little four foot bucket on the Matbro. Put the gravel in put the cement in and then put the water in and the whole lot just stirs like a big cake mixer and, uh, and spits it out.
So here's our first pad done. Um, as you can see, what we're mixing up with is not ideal. Um, so we've got a pile of gravel um, and a pile of sand, which we normally use for mixing concrete with. We have had a delivery of scalpings in um, because we need to make up other areas of this shed floor. Unfortunately, as you saw, it's massive stuff. So we ordered 40 millimeter scalpings. That's probably the next size up. I'm not sure what, what size the actual stones is, but unfortunately it got tipped next to our gravel pile. Um, so we're picking a little bit of it up, which is not ideal, but you can see we've got a good, we've got a good finish on it. Um, that last load was a little bit sloppy, but um, the rest was all right. But it's gonna, it'll, it'll still go off sufficiently hard. It might take a little bit longer, but what we'll do, so the water tank will go in that back corner, um, and then the rest of the floor will get made up to this level, so that as we're cleaning out, so we come in with the loader, just clean the whole floor, um, and this will be built up so that we're not digging at the edge, which was a problem we had in the, in the center of the tank. And um, because the, pa the pad was sat on top of the floor, we, we kept digging at it with a grab when we were cleaning it out. Um, but by redesigning and having the pad flush with the floor level, 
we can just clean to it and be a lot tidier job. So here we are, our new, not new, the tank is back in on its new, on its new floor. Here we go, look, we can see our nice concrete pad. Um, sat up on a couple of blocks to get our height correct. Um, and as you can see, sitting nice and level. Um, I changed, I put a new washer in the ball valve so we're not, not leaking. Um, it's just dripping a little bit, just while it finds its level. But that's this little, uh, this little video finished so we've got two new pads <clears throat> to make just cleaning out easier and we've got the tanks nice and level they're not leaking they're not running over um, so we've achieved what we set out to do so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time where we will be preparing the rest of the shed for bringing dry cows in ready for calving so we will see you next time